Namaskar, I am Dr. Ipshita Johari, I am a dermatologist and today I am going to talk about the 5 myths that everyone still believes about the PRP or GFC treatments. If you are one of the person who wants to start PRP therapy but you have certain queries in mind, you must watch this video. The first myth is about the injections and pain in the scalp. You are always scared about getting a PRP treatment done thinking that it's going to be needles and injections on your scalp and it's going to be painful. Well, guess what? It's not an injection. It's just a micro needle that is used to deliver the platelets and growth factors into your scalp. The needle is very, very thin and very small. So it goes only till your hair root, which is very superficially placed in your skin. Therefore, the pain is also considerably mild and the procedure goes very smoothly and comfortably. Also, they use this magic spray on your scalp 20 minutes before the procedure, what it does is it numbs the scalp. Therefore, once we are injecting the platelet-rich plasma and growth factors into your scalp, the procedure becomes even more comfortable. So pain should not be one of the factor for you not to go for this amazing therapy that delivers the growth factors derived out of your own blood into your hair roots and promotes the growth of the hair root the hair follicle becomes strong, the matrix becomes stronger and because of repeated proliferation of the matrix cells, you start getting new hair growth from your scalp. The existing hair also become thicker and the miniaturized hair which are smaller in length will also gain strength and become longer. Coming to the second reason why you might think not to go for a PRP therapy is you're worried about the side effects. Well, let me tell you. In a PRP or GFC therapy, we are taking your own blood and from that we extract your platelets and your own growth factors which are delivered into your scalp and your hair roots. Therefore, since it's your own blood and your own platelets, your own plasma can never cause a reaction in your body. You might get itching or allergy on the scalp by using certain home remedies or certain hair oils that you read about or certain kind of hair gels or products which claim to grow your hair but they are all chemically made and external substances. But when it comes to PRP or GFC therapy, this is your own body structure fluid collected from your own blood. Therefore, it can never cause any kind of irritation, allergies, itching or any other side effects. The healing time after the procedure is almost negligible. No one can look at your scalp and actually comment that you've gone through a therapy. You can easily go to your office or move on with your daily activities after getting the procedure done. The only thing we advise is do not sweat a lot for first two to three days and keep the area clean. The third myth a lot of people believe about a PRP or GFC therapy is that it stops the hair fall instantly. Well, it's true to a certain extent. So once you get a GFC or PRP done, within one month you do see reduction in hair fall and your hair fall may even completely stop. But this could not be true if the hair fall is happening because of certain internal reasons. Like if your hair fall is happening because of severe vitamin deficiencies, or if it's happening because of certain hormonal issues or thyroid issues, you might need to address that. Therefore, once you start your therapy, your dermatologist will run through all the investigations and check that the body is completely fine and there are no internal issues with your blood system. This is when you get the perfect result of a GFC starting from the first session in reduction of hair fall. You are also advised to do certain lifestyle changes once you start GFC or PRP therapy. Changes like quit smoking because smoking kills your hair roots and damages the hair, proceeds androgenetic alopecia at a very fast rate. Therefore, you need to stop smoking. Include certain healthy things in your diet like whole grains, like flex seeds and certain other things that your doctor will tell you about during the consultation. Number three is a good sleep cycle and a stress-free routine. All of these will help you in getting fast and quick results out of your PRP or GFC therapy. Also, if you have recently suffered from diseases like dengue, malaria, typhoid, or just delivered a baby and your body has gone through severe hormonal changes or stress of pregnancy, you might take three to four sessions to see reduction in the hair fall. 
The fourth myth that people tend to believe is that GFC therapy will regrow your hair completely and fully within two to three sessions. Well, that's again not true. GFC takes time. It basically awakens the roots that are not giving hair. That means when you see that the density is going down, it's because some of the hair roots are completely below your skin and they are not giving any hair. Once you do the GFC or PRP, the growth factors go inside, stimulate the matrix formation, regenerate the roots and it takes 3 to 4 months for those roots to actually come above the skin and show themselves. Therefore, you need to keep the patience of at least 4 to 6 months to see proper results of GFC and see those small mini hairs growing on your scalp. Also, if two people of same age, same lifestyle and same blood group take GFC therapy, there still might be difference in their results. One person might get earlier results in 3 to 4 sessions while the other one may respond after 6 or 8 sessions. This is because the genetic factors play a vital role in showing results in a GFC therapy. The fifth myth is that the results of PRP or GFC are temporary and the hair will fall off once you stop the treatment. Well, that's completely not true. Once you go for a PRP or GFC, it basically gives nourishment to the roots and the roots start to grow. Now, it will depend on how you maintain it. If your hair loss was due to a temporary problem like pregnancy or surgery or due to illness, once that situation goes away and you go through the GFC therapy, you can actually maintain the complete density without worrying too much about maintenance. But if your problem has been because of androgenetic alopecia, you have a female or male pattern baldness, this is a genetically progressive disease. That is, it increases, the problem will increase with age. And therefore, you need to work a lot on maintaining the results. So after six sessions of GFC, you might still require maintenance sessions every two months or every three months, almost till the time you want to maintain good hair and keep fighting your genes. A healthy lifestyle and using hair density enhancement serums which are prescribed to you, also one or the other multivitamin, frequent blood tests to avoid any deficiencies for a chronic time, all of these play a vital role in maintaining your results. Your dermatologist will guide you through the entire process. If you have any other queries regarding PRP or GFC, I'm here to help you at Skinfinity Derma. This is Dr. Ipshita signing off.